And I sure hope in two weeks we don't have to talk about a tropical disturbance. But in this week we do, and it has a different long range projection than what we were even talking about yesterday. Sarah, a tropical storm right along the Central American coast, but barely over water, trying to get some more organization underway, but it's gonna be interacting with that land. So that's gonna hinder any kind of progress. And then it's gonna move more directly over land near the Yucatan Peninsula. So more of a west to the northwest track. And as it does that, it will likely weaken. So we're not looking at a full-fledged hurricane that's going to make a beeline towards South Florida anymore. The pattern is about the same. The high pressure that's coming over us now will likely linger off the East Coast. So I think that helps to kind of nudge it farther west, and that will make it weaken as it's moving over water, uh, over land. But once it moves over water, our front next Tuesday, Wednesday, will create a zone of fast upper level winds. The system will already be pretty weak. That will weaken it further. So I just think a blob of moisture kind of flows ahead of that front, kind of combines with it and produces higher rain chances for Florida, including where we are. We'll see some frontal rain along with a little tap of tropical moisture. But the overall expectations on the higher end, the more scary end, those are really being pulled back a lot. So this isn't a major concern for us, but since it's something that's out there, we'll continue to keep a watch on it, but nothing major in terms of a big impact for us based on what we know now. But the sunshine, the cold air,